this is going to be my very first secret reading vlog i guess so for this reading vlog i just wanted to read the lowest rated books on my favorite booktubers goodreads mainly because everyone always does like favorite books which i mean i guess is more flattering because it's books that people like gush and rave about but we know me i love to hate things so i thought why not do the lowest rated books on my favorite booktubers um good reads list so i picked three booktubers mainly because i i've tried to do a secret tbr so many times and there are always five books and i never even start one and i think it's the idea of like having like five books so i figured why not start with three and if the people like this then i'll do more i can do reading books that they actually like but i think that reading their least favorites would be so interesting so i picked three book two i picked cindy chandler and chloe and now the more i think about it it's ironic that all of the names start with c but anyways so i went through their goodreads list and it took so long because goodreads loads so freaking slow and i just picked their i just picked like random least rated books so for cindy which she's read this recently and that will be the silent patient and I chose books that I already own just because I can't go out and buy them considering the fact that we're in a pandemic right now. So I, and they will, if I do like buy them from Amazon, they're going to take literal weeks to come in. And I just want to get this, like, I just want to do it. And these are all like pretty short books that I can finish pretty fast too. So hopefully I can get this up soon, you know, before I get bored and I completely throw away. The first book I have is A Silent Patient with Cindy from Read What Cindy Has Read. I believe she gave this book two stars so um i know that she didn't really like this and it's really I, I it's really interesting because i find that me and cindy don't like the same books so i just want to see if we would not like this book together to see if our tastes really align as well as i think that they do you know who knows i'll probably i don't know this is a popular thriller so, so i absolutely hate 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 popular thrillers i hate hate Hey, your hair and makeup today. Nope. But I don't know. I just want to see if I like it or not. And then the next book on this list, the next person I picked was Chandler. And I just picked her because I just, we like the same kind of romances. And even though the book I picked for her is absolutely not a romance, I just, I don't know. I just wanted to see if we would dislike the same book. And it was already on my TBR. And I've been watching a lot of like Chandler's videos. Like as soon as she drops them, I'm like watching them. So I just really enjoy her content. So I figured like, why not read this? And I already think that I was going to hate this book anyways. So I just wanted to see if I really, really hate it, you know? So the book that I picked is We Are the Ants, which is a popular book that everyone tends to love and very few hate. My sister read this and she absolutely hated it. So I want to read it to see if I'll absolutely hate it as well, just because I don't know. So it took me forever to go through Chandler's good reads because she has so many books that aren't rated and so there are some books on there that like i want to read but like i wanted to read for this video but considering the fact that they weren't rated or they were dnf'd i didn't really want to count that it would not mean i, I could have counted a dnf but because she just didn't complete it i just didn't really want to count that i believe she gave this two or three stars i think she gave it i think she gave it two stars this is like a very popular book that everyone loves and it's like supposed to be like really really sad and like thought provoking and all this stuff so i find it interesting that both chandler and my sister didn't really enjoy this that much and then the next person i picked was chloe and i picked chloe from books with chloe mainly because um chloe doesn't really i don't she's not really the type of person to really read books because she knows she'll hate them or she's not really the type of person that like really hates books too too often i mean obviously there are some books that she didn't hate i mean there are some books that she did hate but she doesn't really hate books too often so i figured it would be very intriguing to pick from people who don't really like to focus on the negative on their channel and i really admire people who don't like if they don't like a book they just say like hey i didn't like this book and that's okay and they move on i just really admire people like that and i really just wanted to pick a book especially because i feel like if chloe didn't like it there had to be something wrong with it obviously not saying chloe like loves everything she reads i think that she's a very real red person like she either likes stuff or hates stuff but anyways um so the book i picked was house of saw and sorrows and chloe did give this three stars but she got rid of it she unhauled it so i figured like hey 
why don't I read this because I've been wanting to unhaul this anyways like I wanted to put this in my last unhaul but I hadn't read it and I still want to give it a chance so this will be a good excuse for me to read this these are the three books that I will be reading from and I'm very excited to see how this goes this is my first secret TBR and I feel like nobody's gonna know what the heck I'm doing for this video I don't think it'll be very obvious but yeah this is my first time doing a secret tbr wish me luck hopefully i finish hopefully i can upload this and it's not another one of my secret tbrs that i just don't complete and i forget about and i'm like whatever skip this i don't want to do this because i read what i want to read when i want to read it and i don't usually do things like this so yeah this is the laziest of, like update i've ever done in my life like i don't even like this angle it's not flattering to me but um so I've been reading House of Salt and Sorrow. I don't feel like getting the book. You guys know what book I'm talking about. It's a very popular book in this community. And I I don't know, I liked it at first. Like the like it was like very eerie and like I liked the atmosphere and like they told the story about this girl who like they told the story about this girl who always wore a ribbon around her neck and when she finally got married her husband wanted her to take off the ribbon because he got her a pearl necklace and when he took the ribbon off while she was asleep her head fell off and I was like oh that's like you know I find that really interesting like that was a good story and like there would be scenes like there was a scene where like I think someone was like walking like they have footprints leading to this room and like all the sisters like whose footprints is this and they're like well it's not mine and they're like okay well who but there's so many characters it really like i get that it was about 12 dancing princesses but besides the sisters there's so many other characters and i feel like if you're gonna do a lot of sisters then you need to like dial down like the side characters and also some of the sisters aren't even in the story like i'm getting confused on who the sisters are i thought the wife was a sister for some for a very long time and it's like they need to be more clear because like when i think the author needs to be more clear and like there are some sisters who just aren't in the story like they're mentioned but they're not talked to or anything and it's like really confusing and i just don't like that there are so many characters outside of the sisters even though there's only eight left there's like a lot of side characters and i really don't like that and but the writing is good and i like the atmosphere and also i'm bored like nobody has died yet the book starts off with a death like a funeral nobody i'm like 50 pages like not 50 i'm like 50 percent through and nobody has died since then and i'm like okay pick it up pick it up like you know but that's really how i'm feeling like i can honestly see why chloe gave it three out of five stars because like it's not a bad book it's just not it's not as scary as everyone said it was but also i'm a horror movie fan so i digress like of course i'm not gonna find it scary but it's just like it's not as scary as everyone said it was but i can understand people getting scared but it's not as scary as like people were like really really scared and i'm like it's not scary like there are some scenes that creeped me out yeah but it's not scary and but then again like i can't that's just me like i'm not saying like oh you're scared of this book you're a wimp like, that's not what i'm saying at all i'm just like i love horror movies like i literally watch them for comfort so of course i'm not gonna get scared but it's just I, I understand why Chloe gave it three stars because it's just not that good. Like, it's not a four-star book. It's not a five-star book. So, I mean, we'll just have to see how it ends. I don't think that I... I've been vlogging very well. I've been kind of busy and, like, I wasn't reading. So, I finished, finished House of Salt and Sorrows and I gave this two out of five stars. I was, like, I, the same things I was kind of saying earlier in the video. Like, I was enjoying it at first like the first couple of chapters i was really feeling it but the more i kept reading the more i was like the there were too many characters there were too many side characters like if you're gonna have a cast of like eight main characters you need to balance it with um not having too many side characters because i was always confused and then there was this weird mythology like god aspect to it and i personally just didn't really enjoy that like um like it was a lot of like foreshadowing but i think it kind of made it pretty obvious to what was going to happen at the end because at a certain point it wasn't even foreshadowing anymore they were like all right bitch this is what is, what's going to happen in the ending okay so like when i got to the end i was like oh okay and i kind of already knew like what who the killer was because i have seen a live stream of it but i forgot who they were 
because it's in the live stream like months ago so i forgot so then when i was reading it i was like oh it's kind of obvious like who the killer is so whatever i hate when books do that like make it obvious and so yeah this book just got a two star for me like i Cole gave end up giving it like 2.5 stars and i honestly understand why because it just wasn't it wasn't that good of a book like it wasn't like like some like book that like i would just recommend well obviously i wouldn't recommend it but i just don't understand why people loved it so much but then again i guess i could like it wasn't a terrible book i just didn't really vibe with it i guess so i mean i could understand i could understand why people wouldn't like it but i mean i could understand why people would enjoy it but I just don't think that it was like a five star worthy book like it's not overhyped and it doesn't deserve to be so that makes sense then i started reading we are the ants and i got chicken and grease stains on it love that for me <laughs> love myself so i'm literally 50 percent. well not 50 percent. i'm like 47 percent. so we're just gonna say 50 percent. i'm 50 percent through the book and it's not a bad book the book really reads like a john green book in the way that it tries to be depressing like if i would have read this book back when i read looking for alaska i would have ate it up like i think the reason looking for alaska spoke to me so much is because i was depressed at the time so to read something where a character felt the same way as me really spoke to me and then i reread it um a couple of years ago because it was my all-time favorite book and I reread it a couple of years ago and I was like what the heck is this like John Green literally uh do y'all remember those Tumblr days back in like 2014 when we were all just re-vlog like well the depressed girlies when we were all just re-vlog the black and white pictures it would be like perks of being a wallflower and skins even though I never watched skins skins was always the one that was getting re -blogged. that's what this book is like it just tries to be not tries to be depressing but I feel like it's very it's not i don't know it tries to be hard hitting and it's not like a the character obviously is a very depressed character and like not seeing depressed people act a certain way or anything like that but it just doesn't feel very like natural um and then there's a scene where his brother finds out that his girlfriend is pregnant and they don't really get along like they don't like each other but the way he reacts to the baby was just so mean and like I get that his brother is mean to him, but there are some things you shouldn't say to your sibling. And he really crossed the line. Like, and then him and his nana were like making fun of the baby and called the baby a little parasite or whatever. Like, this means the world to your brother. And I understand y'all don't like each other. I mean, the way the main character like kind of treats people is kind of trash too. Like, he's kind of mean to people and then doesn't really expect the repercussions for it. It's kind of like Hannah Baker from 13 reasons why where in the mood in the show she was kind of like rude to people and then when people kind of fought back she was like oh no like you guys are so mean to me like you guys are bullying me but it was like you kind of were a bitch you know like not saying she deserved everything she got but there were some times when like, she would treat her friends like trash and they would be like yo you're kind of trash and she was like oh my god like my friends are bullying me oh my gosh like you know so uh i don't know i'm ready to finish this so i can stop looking at my chicken stains i'm gonna go eat some more chicken probably so so it is 7 a.m and i've just finished reading we are the ants so basically i ended up giving this book three out of five stars i actually don't really think it's a bad book like it wasn't terrible it could have been better yeah but it wasn't as bad as i was expecting one thing i noticed was that the lack of like alien talk he didn't really get abducted a lot in the book like basically after like the first like first half not even like not first half like one fourth into the i don't know map okay one third whatever anyways after like 30 percent, he didn't get a duck he didn't get abducted anymore so i was just like okay like that's kind of weird like if i were to write a book about you know aliens questioning the humanity i would um i would definitely include more aliens and like so like the lack of aliens was like weird to me and then the ending the ending was like an open ending and typically i like open endings but the way that 
this worked i didn't really like it in the book but there was some accents that i like like um there was a scene where his mom finally put his nana into the nursing home and before that he had finally came to the realization that you know maybe it's okay that his nana is in a nursing home because you know she has dementia so one night they could wake up and she might like set the house on fire or she he cannot be there and she could set the house on fire like you never know and so the mom like put her in a nursing home and she was like listen like i need you to be okay like you know i have to put your nana in the nursing home your brother is having a baby at wedlock like i'm a mess like i just need you to be okay and he wasn't okay like it was very meh so yeah it wasn't a bad book i gave it like my sister absolutely hated this book so i think that's why i didn't really i didn't dislike it as much and i know chandler ended up giving it two stars and i enjoyed it for the most part the last 50 percent was pretty boring and i was just like okay like the book doesn't need to be as long as it is like nothing's really happening i don't really care i don't find myself attached to characters i don't care about the characters i do think there could have been a lot of things done differently and a lot of things done better but overall i pretty much like enjoyed the book to an extent anyway so next i'm going to be starting a silent patient which is cindy's book i waited to start this book because me and thrillers like i haven't read a thriller that i've liked since the woman in the window and that's a lot because the author is literally a lying piece of trash so but a lot of people did not like this book but also a lot of people did but when it comes to thrillers i kind of take the unpopular opinion side because i know there are a lot of people who didn't like the woman in the window and i really did so i think that i, I wish just for this this vlog i would have gave like predictions but i predict that this would be like a three star maybe i don't know i don't think it'll be i was written by a man it'll probably be two stars uh, so i'm going to be reading the silent patient and finally i can be done because i should have been done five days ago but house of earth and blood really knocked me off and i need to get back up like i haven't been reading i haven't really been getting through my owls and i need to get back on that it's been a few days since the like since i started this vlog and i think i'm going to dnf the silent patient so if you've never read the silent patient this book is about a woman who kills her husband and no one knows why she doesn't really have a reason to kill her husband because she was rich so you know the idea that like, she killed her husband with money was just like completely dead and so they're trying to figure out why she killed her husband and she just doesn't talk and she went completely silent and i'm just starting to be enough this like, i've been reading this book for three days and i just have no interest in it anymore like i'm just i don't care and at least for house of saw and sorrow like i liked it in the beginning and i was like intrigued and by the time like i started to not like it i was still interested to see how it ended and i'm sad because my best friend angel her twitter is angel cake reads she loved this book i know chandler who i did the book for earlier loved this book but cindy didn't and i know me and cindy have more so the same taste when it comes to hating books so i'm like I don't know because it's like the point of this video was to read books that i knew i wouldn't like but like this book like literally like the thought of me picking it up was just dreadful like even when i did my stay up late with me live stream i picked up a different book like i was not trying to read this like i literally want to get this video up today and i'm like i don't want to read this book and i don't want to risk me not uploading this video because i'm doing the reading rush and i like I, you know i have other videos planned so like today's like the only day i can get this video up and like i feel like i don't know i feel trash for not finishing the book but i'm just gonna dnf it like i guess the point still stands that me and cindy have the same like taste and like disliking books because of the fact that i am gonna dnf it anyways like i do not do not want to read this book but this was a fun experience if you want to see me do more booktubers please let me know because um it was fun like i really just i find it interesting just reading books that people don't like just to see why they don't like especially books where a, like it's mixed like where a lot of people liked it but a lot of people didn't which was ironic because this book had mixed reviews but i just couldn't but at least we like 
we are the ants a lot of people loved it when it first came out but i think more that people are reading it recently like people just not liking it and then house of salt and sorrows i think that um th that had mixed reviews so i think with house of like i think with all the books i've read today i think that if the author we are the ants came up well he has other books i don't think i'll be giving them a read because Though I did give the book three stars, I didn't really enjoy the writing styles and I didn't like the characters. Like, oh my gosh, the main character was just so John Green. And um, I was talking to Heather about this in my stay up with me and she said that the main character kind of reminded her of a school shooter. And like, the more I think about that, the more I'm kind of like, you know what? Right. Like, it was just that... If you really think about it, that's, oh my gosh. Because the more I'm thinking about it, the more I'm kind of like, because he has the choice to like end the world or save it. And then with House of Salt and Sorrow, I think I could read another book by the main, by this author. I did like, I loved the book in the beginning. And I, um, like I loved the writing style. The characters were meh. Like the main character, she really had no personality traits. Like she really had no personality to her at all. Like, her only personality trait was her sisters and I didn't really so that's it but other than that like the things I didn't like about the book was just mainly because there was way, way too many characters and side characters besides the sisters and the weird mythology aspect that happens in it and then with the side of the patient I just thought it was boring I'm thinking it's boring and I'm like I don't I don't care like I would rather just know like I don't think this book needs to be 300 pages of me trying to figure out if she killed her husband or not I do not care 